Hey guys, what is up? Sam or Scorpiola here, bringing you guys a very exciting video with another Leviathan Easter egg, guys. We're going to be going over how to get all five masks on the map. Each of these have their own method to obtain and will each provide you some awesome perks just like the ones back in Black Ops 3 did. There's even a god mask that will give you all of these perks that we'll get onto later. The timestamps for each mask will actually be linked down in the description so if you want to skip to a particular one you are welcome to do so. So without further ado let's get right into it with our first mask. We're going to start off with what is by far the easiest mask to obtain and one that is so simple and so helpful, I would actually recommend you do this every single game. It's just as easy as shooting six sharks in different areas of the map. The first one can be found just above where you spawn in where the challenge podium is. The second one can be found in the first outdoor area you will come to just above where the stamina up machine is, you'll see it swimming around there. The third one is best visible from the biodome area, but it's actually swimming around above the main central observatory area of the map, where the guy in the tube is for the easter egg. The fourth one can be found just outside the labs and the submarine launching facility, around where the speed cola and origins generator type machine is, you'll see it swimming around above there. Our fifth one is actually just outside the cafeteria in the massive open outdoor area, just next to where Deadshot Daiquiri is actually found, you will see it there. And our sixth and final one that you'll need to shoot can actually be got to by taking a jump pad from there. But if you haven't actually got it open yet, then an easier way to get to this is just to go to PhD Flopper and it's kind of upstairs from that area. If you go up there and you go to the outdoor area, you'll be able to shoot your sixth and final shark and you will hear a completion sound. These can obviously be shot in any order, but that is just the simplest order to do it in terms of the map's flow. Once you've actually got all six, you're going to head over to the machinery area, which is just next to the submarine launching facility, as you're seeing on screen here. You just have to head through this portal here, which you can only go through once per round. Once you go through, you will just see your shark mask sat on a stand, ready to be collected, and this will give you some super cool benefits, breathing underwater and moving faster underwater. Really worth getting this one, just because it makes it so easy to play. And also, if you have any mask, you'll be able to breathe underwater without needing an ABA, meaning you're free to hold a hacker and move around just fine. Really, by far the best way to play this map is to definitely obtain this one right away. The Leaper Mask is once again incredibly easy to obtain. However, this one's going to take a bit longer. All you're going to have to do to get this one is quite simply melee kill leapers. However, you're going to need a fair few. It's only going to count the ones that actually spawn on the special rounds, not going to count the easter egg ones that spawn in steps. It's going to take around 20 to 30. It took me all the way up to round 24. In a solo game, this mask will provide some awesome benefits when you get it. A 50% damage reduction from leapers, you'll do 33% more damage to leapers, and an increased sprint duration. As I say, all you have to do is melee kill the leapers. You can use any melee weapon you want, shield, bowie knife, one inch punch, whatever you want to use to kill them. Once you actually do get this, you'll know because you once again get the same confirmation sounds when you kill that last one, and then you just head over to the same portal, go into Samantha's room, and you can actually pick it up from the stand. This next one is visually probably my favourite, and it comes with some awesome perks. This is a Diver Helmet. It will allow you to take an extra hit of health from zombies. It will allow you to have a 50% damage reduction from those Diver Bosses, which is great because they can really mess you up sometimes. And you'll also do 33% more damage to those Divers, which again is great because they can be very, very tanky. Simply, well, this one isn't very easy, I'm not going to lie. It's going to take a lot of work to get this one, so I'd only recommend it if you're actually progressing through the main easter egg and you're trying to do that, because you're going to need to progress in the main easter egg all the way up until the point where you escort Yuri and you get the crystal. After you've done that, you're going to need to get the harpoon gun wonder weapon from the box. Obviously, this is all RNG, but if a free way to get one of these does pop up, then I'll let you know in the description with a pinned video there on how to get that, but if not, just assume that you have to get this from the box. And once you do, and you also have that crystal, you can actually build it down the lab to upgrade it into the crystallized 115 perforator. Once you actually pack a punch it, obviously, as well, on top of that, then after that, you're simply going to need to wait for a diver to spawn, and you're going to need to kill it just using this. It's only going to take a few shots. This thing is very, very powerful. It's basically a thunder gun. One of my favourite wonder weapons of all time, probably. So once that spawns, just kill it by only using this. And then simply, you'll hear a completion noise, and you'll know you have obtained this mask. Just head through the portal as normal, pick it up, and there you go. 
there's your amazing mask, but there's still one that is definitely better than this. This next one has a really awesome perk. This one is a golden ABD mask and it's going to provide the benefit of an extra hit of health from zombies as well as a longer sprint duration. That is such a cool perk in my opinion. Double jug, you cannot beat an extra hit of health in zombies. One of the best masks I think. And while this one's a little more complicated to do, it's still very easy and can be done at a quite low round. Basically all you have to do for this one is flood every area on the map. So this is going to include allowing the three excavators to go down to breach the biodome, submarine launching facility, and tunnel 11. You could choose to wait around for this, or alternatively you could enter the codes on screen into the number pad that is actually going to force each of these areas to be excavated. Obviously once the area is actually breached and flooded, you can just hack the panel and spawn to actually lift it up so you can move around freely again. But all of those areas do have to flood with water. Just thought those number pad codes would be a nice little shortcut for you guys to make it a bit of an easier process instead of waiting around. After that, you're going to need to flood four areas on the map or with grenades. These are the cafeteria, the laboratory, the power room where the bowie knife is also found, as well as the small room containing a submarine where the boss fight is actually triggered next to spawn. If you haven't done the easter egg yet and done the boss fight, it's absolutely awesome. I'll link my guide down below if that's something you're interested in checking out. Anyways, once that's done, you'll hear a completion sound. If you don't, it means one of these areas haven't been flooded, so go back and check all seven of the areas I mentioned in the video, make sure they're flooded, and if not, then well, get them flooded. And then finally, once you've heard that, you are just going to head through that exact same portal where you can collect the mask off the stand and get your awesome double jug perk. Last up, I thought I'd save the best for last because this one is insane. It looks insanely cool as you're seeing on screen. This is the God Mask. This mask is going to give you basically all the perks from all the other masks combined into one. You're going to have your extra hit of health an increased sprint duration, you'll do more damage against any enemies, and you'll also take less damage from enemies. All round, it's going to make you so OP, and this one is probably the easiest to do in a casual kind of game of zombies. Since it kind of fits with the normal flow of the map, all you have to do actually is to complete all three of your challenges. Or if you're in a co-op game, every player will have to complete all their challenges and then this will unlock. Obviously the challenges are actually found on the podium in spawn. There's a whole range of ones here from killing with different specific weapons to killing enemy types to surviving rounds in a particular area. There really shouldn't be too much of a problem here. If you are confused on any of your challenges then leave a comment down below and I will try and help you out. But all round they're fairly self-explanatory and it's really nice and simple to do and I think that's just awesome. That actually one of the simplest masks to get fits with the normal flow of the map and it's incredibly OP. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, has just been a little fun one here to explain all of these awesome side easter eggs. As more side quests do pop up on this map, I'll make sure I make follow up videos to let you know. And yeah, like, comment and subscribe, I'll see you on more Call of Duty Zombies. Bye!